Let's see this question. ISRO sent a vehicle to moon at a speed of 1000 miles per hour. It further went to Mars at a speed of 2300 miles per hour. If the overall average speed was 1800 miles per hour, then calculate the ratio of time taken to travel from Earth to Moon and the time taken to travel from Moon to Mars. So, it is given like this. Now, we are sending a vehicle from, let's say, Earth to Moon first and then from Moon to Mars. Okay? So, they are saying that the speed from earth to moon is 1000 miles per hour okay and similarly the speed from and it further went to mars which means from moon to mars at a speed of 2300 miles per hour this is given okay if the overall average speed was which means for the entire trip if you compute the average speed they are saying that it is going to be 1800 miles per hour this is what is given now calculate the ratio of time taken to travel from earth to moon and the time taken to travel from moon to mars right so let us assume that the time taken to travel from moon to mars is t1 and the time taken to travel from earth to moon is t2 right and the time taken to travel the the overall time is let us say t okay and also let's say speeds the speed from earth to moon is s2 and the speed from moon to mars is s1 and the overall speed is let's say s okay now how do you generally measure the speed it is distance by time okay so now what is the total speed going to be the total speed is going to be total distance covered divided by total time taken right now total distance covered s is equal to sorry to, the to, uh, total speed is s equal to total distance now total distance is from here to here there is some distance and from here to here there is some distance now what is the distance from here to here s2 into t2 so it is going to be s2 into t2 plus what is the distance from here to here s1 into t1 s1 into t1 divided by what is the total time t1 plus t2 right so if you observe this this is in the form of you know averages only so if you consider that it is the average speed then this is the average for the first group and this is the average for this average for the first group average for the second group and you can think of this one as n1 and n2 right so they are just asking us the relationship between n1 and n2 here in this case it is t1 is to t2 that is what they are asking isn't it so if you see this formula it is exactly similar to that even if you are not able to understand this what you can do is you can just cross multiply this and simplify it and you can find out the ratio between t1 and t2 if you try to find out the ratio between t1 and t2 you are going to get this t1 by t2 is going to be s minus s2 divided by s1 minus s okay so what is this what is t1 it is the time taken from here to here and it is time taken from here to here. this is t2 t1 is time taken from here to here and t2 is the time taken from here to here let's see what is what did they ask calculate the ratio of time taken to travel from earth to moon so which means they are asking about this one t2 is to time taken to travel from moon to mars t2 is to t1 is asked right so you can just flip it and find it out or you can find out t1 is to t2 and then flip it okay now what is it so what is the average speed average speed is given as 1800 therefore 1800 minus 1000 divided by s1 so s1 is 2300 minus 1800 got it so it is going to be 800 divided by 8 plus 3 is 1100 right okay 2 500 right so this is going to be 8 is to 5 
So what is that they ask? They ask T2 is to T1. So T2 is to T1 equal to 5 is to 8. So this is the answer. So once you can write, you know this relation, from this you can write this and you can cross multiply and you can get this one, right? Just the way we got it for relating that averages and mixtures, right? So n1 is to n1, n2 equal to, we got it, same way I have written it. Now if you see this, if you can, you know, you correlate this with the averages, then also you could have written this way. So what is the highest speed? The highest speed is 2300 which is S1 and what is the average speed? The overall average speed is given as 1800 and what is the lower speed? The lower speed is 1000, right? Now this is S1, this is S2, this is S, right? Now you can find out this difference and write it here, find out this difference and write it here. Now if you find out this difference, it is going to be 800 and if you find out this difference, it is going to be 500 right now let's say this is t1 and this is t2 which means t1 is to t2 equal to 8 is to 5 got it okay and the answer they asked is t2 is to t1 you can write that way okay fine